Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and it's time to go to McDonald's, baby. Oh, yeah. Because I haven't had a friggin' McChicken in a long time. Yeah. Those, those filet of fish, oh, man, they're the bomb. Hopefully somebody can I, I, bag you know, it like, for me. Because I'm always trolling for some good food. Yeah. yeah. When in gout, <laughs> go to McDonald's, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, cause hey, Rambo. Oh, hey, Jack. Hey, you can't process good food when you if you don't add McDonald's to it. Right. Hello, Susie Q. Hello. How Hi. are you? What's up? Oh, What's I'm up? ecstatic. I'm yeah? ecstatic. Why are you I'm ecstatic? ecstatic? Because my favorite singer's new album is going to be out October 5th of Ooh. this year. Ooh. I've been waiting for two years for it. Elmo? Yeah. Or uh, Elmo, give me a break. <laughs> you didn't hear the, you didn't hear know, the new the Steve from... Perry song? Yes, you I didn't, know. You didn't hear it? You need to go on YouTube and see the video. Trust me. This What's up, Scott? I didn't even get to say hi to Scott yet. Hi, Scott. I didn't even get to say hi to Connor. Hi, Connor. Busy eating. Hello. All right. I'm loving okay. it tonight. That's all I know. I'm loving it. <laughs> da, 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 da. I'm loving it. <laughs> oh. I love it how people make fun of you that you write books and you have five jobs and then nobody takes time out to smell the fries. Really. Yeah, I know. Just don't do it. It, it yeah. takes four minutes to cook those fries, you know. Yeah. Trust me, I know. Yep. I used to work there. Oh, okay. Like that particular one, or uh, or no, one? no, I worked one in the city. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. mm. I, 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 on I the northwest for, side. I, I work for royalty myself, Burger King. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I think I'm going to make a morning with Matrix Lord segment going to friggin' Matrix. McDonald's this week too. <laughs> I'm going to eat that shit on the video. You know, speaking of. Uh, uh, instant podcast. I should do one from work on Monday. Oh shit! It's the first day of school. <laughs> oh, God. Well, not for me because another I podcaster. <laughs> I started Wednesday. What I have I know done? It's so amazing. No. This is like this is this is a great year. It's awesome You're so for freaking me now. positive tonight. It's not sucking. I'm so happy. It's those fry guys. Uh, My, something's in the fries, I, man. No, it's she doesn't not. Have, she, doesn't even a she doesn't even have a grim. She doesn't even have a grim. Let me ask you a question. Does like a film fanatic critics also review fries, or they just review movies too? I guess not. Boy. Do they have Bur Boy. Do they have McDonald's in Ireland? I assume. Really. Well, yeah, I don't see why not. They're a multicultural. They're a multinational corporation. They're the biggest corporation in the world, probably, apart from Apple, Microsoft, um, Sony. Yeah. Oh, okay. I hope they have better shamrock shakes there than they do here. Mm. First they sucky. I like Wendy's, actually. I like my crispy yeah, chicken. Give me, give me the Frosty. Yeah, Frosty's a good That's one. That's right. I need to get, oh man, I need to get up there. Sadly, Did you have the You know, it's weird. Yet? Some people are a little more green than the shirt that I'm wearing right now. Yeah. You I know, know, I don't wonder why, though. <laughs> I don't know. You think they might be burgling? It's something? not easy to be green. Do you actually <laughs> think you're trying to burglar something? I don't, I don't know. know, man. The hand burglar. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen him in a long time. How do they process? The serving of the fries, really. Yeah. I wonder. You know? I don't know. Anyway, we're getting that off topic of what we're really here to put too much salt about. on them anyway. They put way too much salt on them. So we got the news that, of course, James Gunn is done. We know we talked about that already. Yeah. Batista spoke out today. And he said, thank you, Disney, for making America great again. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, he definitely wants to get fired, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Let me ask you guys, will Disney fire him? Uh, 
Um, depends. Mm -hmm. Soon, right? It, it it really depends on um, whether because the thing that the thing about Bautista, the thing about what he's doing is that he's not outright saying that he what he he's not really bashing Disney. He's kind of like. It's it's almost like he he wants to get fired, but mm -hmm. he doesn't. He's want talking to, in code. He yeah. doesn't want he to make he's it obvious. He doesn't want to make it obvious. Like he's talking in code, like we talk about McDonald's loving it and stuff. Yeah, it's like our little messages towards each other. Yeah, yeah, subliminal. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It, he he's showing like a devil may care sort of attitude mm. towards because I mean let's be honest, the guy is in many more films. Than yeah. just Guardians of the Galaxy, he's he's not really. He's got he's got a decent amount of career security mm -hmm. um, to, you know, voice his wishes about James Gunn. Right. But I don't think he cares whether he gets fired or not. Um, he just wants his own voice on the matter. He wants Disney to know that they effed up, and. And even though the rest of the cast don't, I mean, even though the the, own, the Avengers crew and all the rest are stating their own opinion a certain way, Batista, I think, is actually showing, hey, you really effed up, Disney, and if you're not going to bring him back, or if you're trying to do this whole little, oh, we, we didn't really mean to fire him, BS, he'll walk. I see him walking. Before I think he's going to get fired before he walks. I think they're going to say, yeah. In fact, I think a little more. And they're going to scrap the whole Guardians thing completely. I really feel that they would do that because they really are worried about pissing off any other Guardians or if saying were, something. I don't, I don't think they're worried about pissing off other Guardians. What I think is if they fire a cast member mm -hmm. for what basically Bautista is doing, they will cancel the film. Mm -hmm. So that they're trying to more save their property than they are... Up of their ass. So. Yeah. Because so, to, be, to be honest, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Volume Three will be a money maker. Oh yeah, but I don't know if it would be. They don't, they don't want to shoot a rocket up that money maker's ass mm -hmm. unless they really have to. It, it, they would really have to if they fired Bautista because. You're firing a main cast member. Other cast members are not going to like that. You're you're yeah. going to you're going to cause a chain effect. Oh because yeah, I think they're doing the same thing which uh, NBC did with Timeless. They're waiting out his contract, and then that way, when his contract is up, this is okay. We don't need you, Batista. Well, they okay. said they're not doing any of the Guardians after three. That's it. Yeah, the last. Still, him still. they want to just get it done and get him out of there. But if yeah. they can keep pushing when Guardians three is going to come out. Then that way his contract will be up, and and why the hell would they want to give him what he wants? You know, they they they're not give if they fired him, they're giving him what he wants. Yep. yep. And that's not how corporations usually work. Well, look at how much James Gunn's going to make. He's going to make what fifteen million dollars to walk, and then he's going to get to do all these movies and make it profitable. Who better than Gunn, I guess, right? Warner Brothers in D.C. take him while he's hot. Oh, he's going to forget it. Uh, we also got some other interesting news. Paul Walker's brothers want them to do a Fast and the Furious movie where somehow their brother is worked in there with CGI to save the day. They, no. they said that they want to have a thing where, like another thing with their brother to be like, you know, as for the last time, I know, I know, but they, they, for some reason they, they want a return. Like, I don't know what they said. They don't know how it's got to be done with class. Whatever people are going to know, like people are just not going to feel comfortable with that. I mean, that's no, see my thing is, and I, I could be hundred percent wrong though, because they want to be in it in the fast and the furious movies also, but like double whatever. I think they should just let it go. Like, enough already. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it's you, you're torturing the fans by by doing that, and they're not happy about that. You know, they don't want to. You know, I, that's one series that I wish they'd just end. I mean, I'm not. A I've not really seen all the films. 
I've seen the first three. Um, it's not. It's not got any sort of long. It's. It's one of them films that. Uh, one of them film franchises that just keep on going and going and going. Well, that's the one franchise that I never watched until when we would, I was dating Sharon. She wanted me to see. She wanted to see the Fast and Furious Six or something. And I'm like, okay, because she sees my movies. I want to see her mm-hmm. movies. And then I started watching the franchise from there. But I never watched it really. Mm-hmm. So it's like, oh, okay. Um, I didn't start watching until six. Actually. That's what I just said, six. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, me too. I mean, I didn't start watching until six. And then I went back and wa- you know watched. Triple X is good, but it's just pretty much it's just pretty much fast re redesigned. Yeah. Packaged. What do you guys feel about Bruce Campbell had said that even though he retired as Ash, he had some commitments before he retired, and he's going to be reprising Ash for the video game. Oh, Ash for a new time. All you yeah, got to so, do is do a voiceover here and there. And you can dress. That's what he's doing. He's doing the Ash vs. Evil Dead or whatever video game or a VR oh, game or whatever it is. So he's coming back for the video game. Go for it. Uh, now, cool, another thing. Cool, cool is if they could get him and the gal in the uh, remake together. That would be really cool. Yeah. Also, um, they're talking about the Halloween movie. Now, they're saying now all of a sudden the company is talking sequels. And then somebody came out and said, listen, the only Halloween 2 there will ever be will be Halloween 2. You're not going to mm-hmm. – the whole purpose of this was to end the series, not mm-hmm. to, like, capitalize and make money off of it. He, they said, though, that they, I guess, made the ending where it's open to another one. Even though then I weren't supposed to do that because the whole point was that he's supposed to die. Remember that's mm-hmm. the, what the, the fight with – that was the purpose. It was, it was an ego – battle mm-hmm. and John Carpenter is like oh no Michael Myers is mortal he'll die in the next one I'm making one and then that's that's what that started but not now what they changed so um we have to see now people also don't think that people are gonna like the Halloween um alternate reality or whatever you're gonna call it um we're gonna have to wait and see on that you know well it's the same, it's same with Terminator 6 I think that they should walk before they can run they, they need to see if it's good they right. need to see if it gets positive reaction before doing anything because yeah. i think i think terminator will be good i have a feeling about it i think okay. it, you know, there, there's talk about it being like social justice because there's three women but actually they're not the three main characters i don't think they're just three of the main characters um but the Halloween thing, I think, you know, it's it, it's something that you just have to see whether it'll be good or not. You have to get the reaction before you say, uh-huh. you know what, we're going to give this a second uh, alternate reality film or we're going to give this a sequel to this alternate reality take on it. Um, because, it, you know, people are very protective over the um, the first and the second, I think. Mm-hmm. Other ones that are regarded as the great ones. Yeah. Um, ironically, yeah. same as Terminator. Um, you know, it, it's I I see them too as very much like the same sort of movie. Like the the way that they have to go about it is the same because they're two very much loved franchises. Yeah. Um, with mixed histories, like that. You know, that they've each had segments that as far as i can tell have been utterly shat on by critics and audience and you know um even though like the, I, I can only speak from terminator's point of view because they're the only ones that i've really seen genesis i didn't mind i would have loved a sequel to it um but i can see why they had to cancel it because it, it like it's it's such a a loved franchise that they have to have some sort of damage control yeah. of it when um, it gets tough. But I think that Terminator will be a success, just as I think that maybe this Halloween might be a success, especially because I believe that Danny McBride is involved in it. I think he's writing it. And that guy is a fucking legend. Like, he's, he's done so many funny... He's, he's actually, bizarrely, he's a comedian. 
But that's the, that's the whole thing about his thing is that he could write not just comedy, mm -hmm. but anything. But it remains to be seen if we like what he wrote. Because I'm a little bit, I'm very, I'm actually not a little bit, I'm very, I've been talking, right, Scott? I'm very concerned. Apprehensious. Very concerned with Halloween. Beyond belief. Um, and Susie, you're not a fan of the horror movies, really. I liked, I liked the first Halloween movie. I loved it. Right. You know, I like the, uh, you know, the, the, uh, gradual scare the right. weird music the whole mm -hmm. yeah i like that when when everything's over in about less than a half an hour then why bother to watch the movie that's how i feel about it right i like a good scary movie but you don't yeah, like repeated, uh, repeated jump scares i no and i don't like the gore I don't want to see eyeballs in my popcorn. That's what happened with Friday the 13th, part three and 3D. That made me crazy. So, and the only reason why my boyfriend took me is because he thought I'd get scared and curl up next to him. See, that was the whole point for him to take me to the movie. So right. Sammy Venus Jr. I don't get that. To see the movie and fake eye, get it, but up um yeah <laughs> i've seen about all the alien movies the predator movies i only like the first predator movie so you have gotta be really something that's gonna grab me to pull me in now, when they said that when they said that jamie lee curtis was going to be in it that was kind of a selling factor for me so if they could have fed off I like the whole uh, set with the second one if they could have fed off of that one when they went on to a third one, it would have been good. But it went off on this stupid, asinine way. The, the, those goofy masks, that was mm -hmm. stupid. Oh, what, the Halloween 3? Well, how, here's the thing. Halloween 3, they, they tried to experiment with something different. See, when we were growing up, there was every, sing with every single franchise except for Chucky, they did it, Okay. They did it with Friday the 13th, where they're like, well, let's go in another direction. What if there was a killer other than Jason? Mm -hmm. Meaning, I'm not talking about one. I'm talking yeah. about five. Yes. Yeah, so. and, and when everybody found out it wasn't Jason, they hated it, okay? Mm -hmm. And then I can't even watch it because it doesn't exist. It doesn't count. Anybody that died in part five, Jason didn't kill. So you can't part, put that as part of a kill count or whatever. So I don't like Friday 13th Part 5. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street did a new nightmare where they made it that the mo that was actually movies yeah. and a demon liked the movies and became Freddy Krueger because yeah. he's a fan of the movies, which is ridiculous also. The um, Look at the Hellraiser franchise. Those two, those first oh, two. No, I love those. Those are awesome. Yeah, I love the first two. They were awesome. So they, they did things yeah, where like they tried to go in a different direction, I feel. Mm -hmm. They also, everybody went to space, but but Freddy, yeah. Like Jason was yeah. in space, Jason Hellraiser was in space. They want okay, Chucky no, to go in space yeah. now. I mean, it's like, you know, Come on. It, it, it's like a trending thing. they like, oh, let's do this now. You know? Kind of like the Predator and the uh, and the uh, Predator was on another planet. And, and, the third and, one. Yeah, with aliens, it was like okay. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen, and I didn't read the comic books. I knew that was going to happen. So go so, figure. I'm good. I'm not a fan of Terminator Three. I hate Terminator Three. Yeah. I hate Terminator Three because it destroys for me the whole John Connor thing. John Connor does not become a drug addict and gets locked in a dog cage by this woman. Like I kind of was like, I wanted to throw up when I saw it, it ruined the whole thing. And then they made it that, you know, Linda Hamilton's character died and there was a coffin and all of guns and whatever. And I don't like it at all. And then I'm there was also um, salvation, which was, that was weird dumb. for me. That was um, I tried, Genesis I, I liked, but 
I wasn't like you gave it's away too, the whole movie in the trailer. Me, it was too matrixy. So. They made it complicated, though. They kept saying they confused the shit out of you with the timelines. Yeah. And then they said someone in the far, far future, like John Connor's grandkids, possibly sent the Terminator back to protect to protect Sarah Connor, which you totally confusing the shit out of everybody. So yeah. I just I, stop it with then, the time travel, time travel, time travel. Time travel. A, uh, Terminator himself. And I just, you know what? I, I don't even believe that either because that ruined it also that you made the hero the bad guy. So I was not a fan of that. Um, but you know what? I knew it had to be wiped because they, nobody know what the hell to do with it. So James Cameron has to fix it. So there you go. Somebody's somebody's making an order for some fries right now. Uh -huh. Beep it in. Where's the ketchup, <laughs> son of a bitch? All right. <laughs> no, when they eat them, them here, they eat it with I don't want sauce. any McDonald's right now. Shut up. I'm doing a cast. You filthy <laughs> animal. <laughs> Stupid punk ass. All right, but anyway. Yeah, I don't want to look right now. <laughs> Regional losers. Jesus. But anyway. Um... I don't like the way you bagged my groceries last time, you son of a bitch. You, you, you put the, you, you broke my bag. You didn't even double bag it for me. Nothing. You know, oh. bag. But anyway, um, what else do we have? We have we have Venom, and they're predicting big openings for Venom, which they think it's like sixty-five million dollar opening. You want to know why that is? There's only one reason why that is because Tom Hardy is Venom. Yeah. They would, they would not predict anything good for that film if Tom Hardy was in Venom. He will single-handedly save that film. Probably. Along it may not even be a good film, but it will do good because he's in it. Yeah. Depending on how much of a role Woody Harrelson has as well, he might also contribute to it, but Tom Hardy will save that film. Regardless. Yeah. It will be at least half decent because Tom Hardy does not put in a shit performance in any I, I do I do have to say that he has evolved so much in his career but but he did start out with star trek nemesis and i hated that movie. Yeah. was hated. that because, was that because of him though or was that because of other factors it was not because of him it was because of other factors yeah i, I think it's it not his fault i mean every every actor is going to do a shit film right once in a he while he really he really did his best to be like a villain villain. And he was good, but the script sucked so bad. Yeah. That it just, it sucked that he was in it, that the script sucked. And you know what the problem was with that movie? They tried to make it, they kept saying, this is our Wrath of Khan. This is our, no, dude, no. it's not. And don't try to be either. And that's where it fell, fell on its face, really. Um, but yeah. So you there's that. I, you know what I like about Tom Hardy as well, what makes him so great is that he doesn't act. He just He's even admitted himself that he doesn't act. He just bullshits his way through it. Right. Like Mad Max. Fucking yeah. shit was great. <laughs> yeah. Didn't they say he was so into character he was a real dick? Right? He's, he's Didn't Charlize sure Theron was like, ugh. He's, yeah, he's done a few things that, um, where, where he's really got into character. About, yeah. About, yeah. Um, when he did uh, The Legend... I don't know if you've seen that about the Cray twins, where he played yeah. he, he played the two twins. Okay. Like, so it was him on screen all the time because he was two people. It okay. was it's actually one of his most What is it called? Legend. Oh yeah? That's recent? Yeah, it's only about four four years old. I gotta years. see that then. Yeah. Um, is that on Netflix? Uh it might be. Um okay. yeah, he um because obviously, like, the Cray twins are so, uh, in terms of British criminals, they're so well known. Right. Like, the, um, he, had, he had to basically work with two personalities throughout the oh. whole thing. So he was very um, methodical about how he works that role out. But most of the time when, like, he's doing Bane or when he's doing uh, Venom or when he's Oh, doing he was fucking unbelievable. Oh, Bane. Oh, when he's I doing, um, I can't remember the character's name in Inception. Um, oh, he, like, he just bullshits his way through it, you know? Yeah, he's really good. And he's I good. Still, yeah, go ahead. He's good because he doesn't think about 
being good. He doesn't pressure himself. He's just, he's naturally a great actor. And I think that's why he's one of the best in the business. Yeah. And that's why he's, he makes big money. That's why Venom is projected to have these insane Well, opening. Eddie Brock's a dick. Yeah. So he's probably going to be easy playing him, like, you know. I mean, he's not supposed to be a likable guy, even though he's trying to do something nice. Uh-huh. He's kind of twisted. I still know? remember when this, uh, before Bane appeared, everybody was debating, like, it's going to be this guy in the next movie. It's going to be this guy in the next movie that says, uh, you're forgetting one person. I can't remember if I said Bane and then the man who broke the back next. That, I that, love that movie. I said, man. You're forgetting about the man who broke broke the bat, Bane. And then yeah. what happens? Boom, there's Bane in the next movie. I think, oh, good Lord, I predicted it in a way. I was very happy with that, that movie. Is Venom Where? getting a sequel? Yes. Yes. Well, Woody Howson said he didn't give a shit. He's like, yeah, I'm Carnage and I'm in the movie. And the next one. All right? There you go. So, the movie company didn't even say it, but he's like, yeah, no Venom so. So, yeah, pretty much. But like yeah. we were talking about the other night, they always think of in their in their head trilogies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a three thing. It's like, got to have a nice three movie box set. You know? Well, I guess you're going to have um, Venom against Riot, uh, Venom against Carnage, and then probably Venom against Spider-Man, I guess will be the third one. It, if I can get the rights and everything sorted out. It, it would be... See, the thing is, this, this is, there's a way to solve this. Sony did not give Marvel the okay to continue the collaboration past a certain amount of movies. But the bargaining power is, we'll let this deal continue past our designated movies if you allow Spider-Man in the Venom movie. And that's where Marvel might buckle. Because they, they have plans for Spider-Man if they ever do the A versus X. Yeah. And, and the way they're going to build Spider-Man up is that he's going to be a massive member of the Avengers. Because he's going to be growing up in the role. So like him in his 20s, him in his 30s that he's going to be a huge Avenger, you know? So by that time, I mean, right now we're going into Avengers 4, okay? The plan is to do A versus X. That's definitely going to happen. Um, And he's definitely, but he won't be a part of that because the deal ends. So I think now they're going to have Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man 3 pretty much, but then after that, it's done. So... You know, plus though, Sony needs money and they're so desperate for money, they're making these movies of Spider Man villains because they don't know what to do. They don't want to be in a position where this, the pictures element of it has to be sold. You know, the video game part of, of Sony is phenomenal, but yeah. they're number one with the video game. They can't, don't, they can't rely on their But video the picture game. element of it the, is the, the, the video games have been pumping money into the pictures element, and that's not good. Yeah. Because they're in the red with the pitchers thing. So they're just th- they're worse than DC in a sense where they're throwing anything. So they're making deals with other comic book companies, which is kind of pissing off Marvel. Because Marvel's not happy that Vin Diesel, who is Groot, is going to be in his own movie as a, a freaking valiant superhero. Yeah, They're a little angry about that. So right now, yeah. Sony, Sony is pissing. They're doing things. So Marvel, and they don't like that Craven's getting a movie. They don't like that Black Cat's getting a movie. Civil so Saver, Morbius. They're using Spider-Man to save the damn company. Mm-hmm. But so there's going to be some type of weird things going on with Sony and Marvel. What I got to storm up and start that. Mm. All right, guys. It's been fun. I just have to say in closing, be excellent to each other. Peace is the word Let's all go to McDonald's, order some fries, yes. chill the F out, okay? Let's not, like, create hundreds of accounts with my name in it, blasting me, because then you're going to have a troll hunter going after you. So stop, okay? You don't like it when I'm angry. 
Don't make me angry. All right, but anyway. He's already he's green. Turn green. He already's green with envy there. So. I'm green. I'm, I'm, I'm hungry, though. I want friggin'. So I want my refund. I want my fries and everything. That manager sucks in that. Did you go through the drive thru? <laughs> well, actually, it wasn't even. Yeah, actually, I'm talking about here, but they had the troll hunter that went in the UK there. I wasn't happy about that. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Be nice, <laughs> people. All right, so she's cracking up. <laughs> I'm so happy. I can't. I can't see straight. That's right. So there. All right. right. There you go. Take care. <laughs> bye for now.